Oh boy. So everyone and their grandmother's been hitting me up lately saying that Danny Khan is lying about being pregnant. Please make a video on it. Number one, isn't Danny Khan 15? I sure hope she's not pregnant. Number two, why? Why would she be pregnant? And why would she fake a pregnancy? It just does not make sense to me. I mean, when she's too young to be on MTV's 16 and pregnant, something's severely wrong. Wait, where's my magnifying glass? Wow, who's this mystery man? I don't know. But yeah, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look to see if a 15-year-old uh, YouTuber is pregnant or not. Yeah, believe it or not, this is what I do for a living. It suits you somehow, you pull it off. Why do you look good? It's like making me annoyed. Help. So on the 11th of April, Daniel Khan posted this image with a heart caption. This is basically what started all this social media craze. So we don't really have a lot of proof in front of us here because I mean, she looks bloated at most there. Me after my Chipotle burrito. <laughs> but thankfully we have some more information here. So shout out Drama T. I wouldn't know this if it wasn't for this channel. So let's continue. <laughs> So the dad is Mikey Tua. No, 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 no. Sorry, I had to make sure he was underage as well or else this video would have taken a very awkward turn. Oh my God. <laughs> their ship name is Manny. Manny is their nickname? Yeah, their ship name is Manny. <laughs> Imagine that being your ship name. Manny. Thank God we don't have a ship name. What would ours even be? I don't want to think about it. Moving on. So apparently Danielle says she's 22 weeks pregnant. So she's literally over halfway. I don't even know where this drama T channel got their info from, but they state estimated conception November 21st, 2018. So she was 14 years old and had unprotected. You tell them health education teacher. The IQ levels here are just over 300. How? How are kids getting dumber and dumber when the information is getting easier and easier to get? Yeah. Some people are just careless though. Like they know. Do you know what I mean? But still though, it's not like there's been a lack of like safe commercials and or information from basically anywhere saying, oh, hey, by the way, you shouldn't have a kid until you're like at least in your 20s. Just to like clarify, if anyone is watching this and thinking like, why do these grown people give a single f it's because a lot of people were messaging you and asking about this and they said they want to know. So like, I so feel I'm just, like- So I'm just sitting here like, all right. Also, you know, the fact that it's plastered everywhere not to have unprotected unless you want a child. So yeah, actually, let me check this out. Okay, so I Googled pregnant at 15 and this is pretty much the first thing that came up. Delaying a first pregnancy until a girl is at least 18 years old of age helps to ensure a safer pregnancy in childbirth. It reduces the risk of her baby being born born prematurely and or underweight. This is especially important where early marriage is the custom and married adolescents face pressure to become pregnant. Childbirth is more likely to be difficult and dangerous for an adolescent rather than an adult. Babies born to very young mothers are more likely to die in the first year of life. Young adolescents do not yet have fully developed pelvises. Pregnancy for them can result in serious consequences such as eclampsia, premature labor, prolonged labor, obstructed labor, fistula, anemia, and or infant slash or maternal death. The younger the mother is, the greater the risk to her and her baby. The risk of maternal death related to pregnancy and childbirth for adolescent girls between 15 and 19 of age accounts for some of 70,000 deaths each year. For adolescents under 15 of age, these risks increase substantially. Girls who give birth before age 15 are five times more likely to die in childbirth than women in their 20s. That was from a quick Google search. Obviously, I wish nothing negative on them. I, I hope this goes as carefree and easy as possible, but my body is just filled with secondhand anxiety. Same. Oh my goodness. That whole list just it's, stressed me out. Yeah. And also the fact that like these are two teenagers. They're 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 kids. They're they're recently teenagers with like this insane lifespan of like a career. Like this can hurt both of their careers or they become yet another vlog family on YouTube. Watch them become a vlog family. Oh my goodness, Stormy. She almost seemed like she didn't know, like, how serious having a baby. Well, I mean, I don't know. I only saw, like, little bits. But, like, they're like, uh, we having the baby. Uh -huh. Anyway, I was like, what? <laughs> That's so insane.
But moving on, her estimated due date is August 14th. She's currently 15 and her boyfriend's 16. It'll be a literal miracle if they're both together when this child turns 10. Oh my God. Yeah, true. So now that we have all this in front of us, even though there's tons of videos calling her out for previous lies, it looks like she's being honest here. So now that we have that down there, let's see how other influencers and people in the community reacted to this. Top comment, any guesses on what age the baby will start belly dancing? He follows it up with, really confused, but I hope the best for you guys. If this is a prank, well, you got me. She replies, thank you. So she didn't even specify, I guess. <laughs> I love when people do that. If this is a prank, it was uh, very well played. And then she follows up with, It's a girl. It was fun last night. Congratulations. Jake Warden. Congratulations. Mace Coronel. Why'd you delete my comment? It's weird you're romanticizing teen pregnancy. Yeah, I actually agree with that. What if they found out too late, you know, to do anything about it? Like, what is she supposed to do? Just hide it? I, I don't know, but there's a comment from Christian. <laughs> there's a comment from Christianity Hotline official. Of course. Well, I tried. I confronted and tried to help during playlist, but congrats. Damn. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Some fandom account goes. I hope this is just a joke. Like I understand it's your life, Danny, but you still have a life ahead of you when it comes to an adult. It's your choice, but I don't know. I'm just speechless. She's not an adult. She's 15. They said she's an adult. Oh, they go when you become an adult. Oh. It's your choice, but I don't know. I'm just speechless right now. Yeah, I feel that as well. <laughs> Someone tagged Dr. Phil and asked if the ranch has any open spots. Oh my god. Wow, are, are you- I can't tell if this is a serious pro- <laughs> Whoa! So it goes, team pregnancy looks so good here. The most disgusting part is that people are congratulating them. Why don't kids just go through their emo phase anymore? <laughs> Honey, you need to do your homework, not your boyfriend. People are really congratulating her. She's 15. Pregnancy is an amazing thing, but she has a whole life ahead of her. Being pregnant at 15 isn't an accomplishment. For most people, they're looking at her and thinking this is stupid. They don't want to be in that situation, right? Yeah. I don't know how to word this. Like, I obviously think it's terrible that she's that young and pregnant. That's awful and that's a terrible decision to make, etc. But if it's a situation where it was too late to do anything about it, mm -hmm. what are you supposed to do? You find out that someone you know is pregnant really young, are you going to go... You, you idiot. Like most people would say congratulations, not because she did something good, but just trying to be like supportive in a sense, you know? Yeah, like I not guess. like celebrating it. I don't know. Like I don't think that it's a good situation, but at the same time, I'm just trying to think like if someone I knew was in that situation, I wouldn't take it as like, oh, people congratulating her as like as if like it's a good thing. It'd just be like, how can you make light of this situation, you know? Yeah, I guess. But I don't know. Like I'm not sure. I don't know the situation. Oh, uh, it's, it's just such a touchy conversation as well. It, everything about this is controversial. She shouldn't be romanticizing it mm -hmm. in that sense. She should have made a post explaining that it's not a good decision to, like, you know, explaining yeah. like safe sex. That's what, sorry, I was trying to think of like a resolution in my head and it was oh bothering me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Comment, please say psych. Send her to the ranch. Literally nobody. Danielle Kahn, pregnant emoji. Jesus has left the chat. All I can say is, good luck, Charlie. This child needs Oprah. <laughs> Me when my period's an hour late. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yikes. All right. So um, I feel like from now on and out, all of us will just kind of be watching one of those really slow train wrecks that you can see is going to be really bad way down the line, but it takes the train ages to stop. Yeah, that's what we're about to witness. I feel like sitting here watching this right now is kind of like me when I went to the movie theater to watch 2012. I knew everything was going to get f***ed up. I just didn't know how. So uh, before I end today's video, um, don't get pregnant if you're not 18 or older, please, for your own sake and for the child's sake. I mean, those aren't strict etched in stone rules. They're more like guidelines, but I would say guidelines to be followed. But before I go, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this entire situation because uh, I'm, I'm really excited to read through some comments here. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as Adatozy on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Heard you had a lot to say. Now you don't really talk too much, though. 
I've been running out these gates, but I'm not ever really late, no. Yeah, I've been seeing all these sights, been traveling in my suitcase. I pack light. I got my plans.